So I'm now going to put my safety glasses on. This is a piece of metal that we're going to drill and it's about 7mm thick or a quarter of an inch. I've put it on top of a, a piece of scrap wood so that when we go through there we don't damage the work surface and it's a good idea to have something soft underneath or just have a, a, a space underneath so that the drill can go straight through. So the first thing we're going to do is just mark a, a hole using the centre punch. So we're going to mark it about there. So you just hold it straight and then hit it with an hammer on the top. And as you can see we've now got an indent there where we can now start the drill. But before we do any drilling, we're going to get this piece of metal clamped down properly. The last thing you want is a piece of metal to start spinning round when you're drilling it. And I'm going to clamp it down firmly to the worktop. Now that's firmly clamped, it can't go anywhere. So we're going to start off just with this 2mm bit, which is uh, just going to be used as a pilot drill. So we're just going to tighten that in the chuck. It's important that you make sure that your chuck is really tight or else it'll start spinning and then you'll damage your drill bit or you'll start to wear your jaws out on your chuck. Whenever you're drilling metal it's important that you have the correct speed so normally you want a lowish speed for metal and the bigger the hole you're drilling the lower the speed needs to be. So because we're only drilling a small hole here we can use it on, on an high speed but not too high. So we're just going to start the drill going now and as you can see it's starting to bite into that metal that's because of the centre punch that we put there earlier. If we had to put the centre punch there, the drill bit would tend to skid all over the place. So that's why we use a centre punch. So if, if you just apply a firm pressure and just press down. And that went through there quite easily. With a small drill bit you don't normally need coolants unless you're drilling a lot of holes or if you're going really deep. But when you start using the bigger drill bits you're going to start needing some coolant. And unfortunately I haven't got any coolant with me. So I'll just have to use some uh, WD-40 which is not ideal but it will actually cool the, the drill bit down a bit. So we can now remove that swarf from there. Now that's the 13mm drill bit which is just over half an inch and that's the biggest drill bit that I've actually got in my kit and it will just about fit in this chuck. So I'm going to put that in now and then we're going to drill through with that. Again it's essential that your chuck is as tight as you can get it when you using a drill bit of this size. If the drill bit goes through there and bites it's going to swing this piece of metal around at high speed which you don't want so it's essential that you make sure that your work is clamped correctly. I don't actually have any coolant with me so I'm just going to spray a bit of WD-40 on there. So now we can go through with the big drill bit. And you can see there that the bits coming off there are actually red hot. Now if your drill bit gets too hot it's going to blunt in it really quickly. So it's essential that you keep cooling the bit down.
And you can see that we've gone through, now we're actually into the wood. So now we can release the clamps. And you can see there that we've got a nice clean hole straight through that piece of metal. So that's how to drill metal using an hand drill.